So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I just you know, tend to notice that the questions that are a bit longer like this require for us to translate the word problem. This question says a small business owner budgets $2,200 to purchase candles. So I'm going to just write, you know, budget equals $2,200. The owner must purchase a minimum of 200 candles to maintain the discounted pricing. So have to buy greater than or equal to 200 candles. Also P for purchase. If the owner pay, I'll just write purchase. There's too many other words that start with P. So if the owner pays $4.90 per candle to purchase small candles. Okay, so $4.90. For small, $11.60 per candle to purchase large candles, so $11.60 for large candles. What is the maximum number of large candles the owner can purchase to stay within the budget and maintain the discounted pricing? All right, so a couple of things are going on. We know that S plus L, small plus large candles, has to be greater than or equal to 200, right? Because that's what this means. If we want to maintain discounted pricing, we have to buy at least 200. We don't know how many small or how many large, but in total, the number of small plus the number of large has to be greater than or equal to 200. We also know that for the cost here, we're paying $4.90 per small candle, plus we're paying $11.60 per large candle, and that we have to be less than or equal to our budget of $2,200. So in essence, we have a system of inequalities here. So because I know S plus L is greater than or equal to 200, I am, what do I want to find? I want to find the maximum number of large candles. So I am going to, I'm going to, let's erase this so I can have some space. I am going to convert this into, I'm going to just subtract L from both sides. So I'm going to have S is greater than or equal to 200 minus L. And in doing so, I can, I can take this S value, this 200 minus L, replace this S down here with 200 minus L. So I have 4.90 times 200 minus L plus 11.60 L is less than or equal to 2200. And now I have an inequality that only involves the variable L, which is what I want. I want to figure out large candles. So now I'm going to grab my calculator and get to work. So what is 4.90 times 200? That's 980. So I have 9, oops, wrote my 8 first, 980 minus 4.90L plus 11.60L is less than or equal to 2200. I have like terms here. So negative, so I'm going to just write 11.6 minus 4.9 is 6.7. So let's go up here for more space. 980 uh, plus 6.70L is less than or equal to 2200. Subtract 980 from both sides. I have 6.70L is less than or equal to 2200 minus 980 in the calculator, 1220, divide both sides by 6.7, and L is less than or equal to 182.1, let's call it. So again, the question is, what is the maximum number? Well, if L, the number of large candles has to be less than or equal to 182.1, that means the maximum number we can have is 182. So that's our correct answer here. 182 candles is the least number or the largest number of large candles that we can purchase.